Hey guys, we're back, and I am Stu Huffles, and uh, today we're going to be doing a mod review over um, the Morph mod. Now, a lot of you guys have been, um, or not really a lot of you, but my friend in particular has requested this, and um, made me, gave me an idea to do a um, series off of this, Attack of the B-Team mod reviews. So, um, I only, I'm only doing um, mods from Attack of the B-Team, just so it's not that hard or stressful to, you know, you know get all those mods. And, um, yeah. So, right now, if there's any mods that you want me to do a review over from Attack of the B-Team, um, you can put them in the comments. And if there's more than one person, I'll pick, um, out of, I'll pick out of that. And if no one puts one in there, then I, I, you know, I won't do another one. And if someone does put, um, one in there, I'll pick that one. So, yeah. Now, um, let's get started. I have, when you first start off, you, um, you do not have any morphs in your, uh, arsenal inventory. Now, um, the way to get a morph is you have to kill something, okay? So, let's go over here to these horses. I'm so sorry. I, oh, there's a baby there. Oh, I, uh, let's just get, okay, now, what the morph looks like is, when you do that, it kind of, it's like black fabric-y looking type deal. I don't know exactly how to describe it, but that's just how it is. Okay, so here's how you open your morph inventory. You do shift and then bracket. The bracket key. Now, um, you'll see that I, it has your name, your character, and then uh, whatever you just morphed into. Now, horse, uh, I morphed into a horse. And if you can see on the horse's box, you have a little special ability, and it like, shows two blocks, like stairs, and up. I'm assuming um, that means... Um, I'm assuming that basically means I don't have to jo uh, jump. I can just do that, which is cool. Which is cool. Let's see, see that again one more time. Okay. So um, you do shift and then bracket. And um, if you don't know where that is located on your uh, keyboard, right by the P, then key that's right to the left of it. Oh, I should say shift and then left bracket. And it's a... Uh, and it's what it's a curly bracket. It's basically this. Oops. Curly bracket. Okay. So once you now each um, I'm gonna say this right now. Most most of all the vanilla Minecraft characters have a special ability or mob, I should say. Each mob has a special ability. Now now not all of them, but most of them do. Okay. And um. When you are playing with mods, like I am in the uh, mod pack I, right now, um, not the, mo the mods, mobs that are in the mod pack don't necessarily have a special ability either. Now, they sometimes do, um, sometimes. Now, not all the time, and I won't be able to tell you which ones do and which ones don't. You'll just have to see them for yourself, okay? So, let's get started with um, special abilities. Now, I'm going to start off with the geest. And I'm going to go into a survival mode because some of these I just need to do in survival. Okay. Mm. Crud. I was in... I'm still... I'm in, um... That because I didn't want to... I didn't want to be tempted to kill anything. Okay. So, let's do this. And... I wonder if that... Ow! How? Come on! Nope. Oh my God, that sounded horrible. Okay, as you can see, um, I am much taller because the the point of view goes um, um, the third per like it's not really third person; it's first person. So you get much taller if you're a bigger creature. Now, here's the thing about the gas. If we go into our inventory, you see that the gas takes up a, b a big spot. If any mob that is really big from, like, a mod pack or something is, like, big, like the gas, it's going to take up a, a ton of space in your inventory, so be careful about that. Okay, the special abilities for a gas are, A, um, you have the bird, which means flying. B, you have uh, the little lava droplet that in an X, meaning I can actually go in lava or fire and be okay with it. And then you have the zombie holding a sword. I think that means hostile mobs. I'm pretty, I'm almost positive that means um, you're a hostile mob. Um, now, crud, I don't need to do that. Um, 
Let me get some beef or something. Cause if I do that, uh... Beef pie. Eh. Dang, am I serious? Wow. Let's do food plus mod. Food. Um... Um, what should we have, guys? <laughs> this shouldn't take that long. Uh, let's just have a... Uh, what is something I might really want? Um, come on. Hot dog. Okay. So, as a guess, I can go in this, uh, lava. Now, I don't think I'm actually gonna fit in it, but I think you get the point that, um, as a gas, I'm resistant to, uh, fire and stuff. So let's go into our next uh, character, which is a spider. Okay. And we have uh, morphed into a spider. Oh, and I want to add that each character has its little arm. Now, sometimes they don't have an arm, but um, each character does have an arm. I'm not going to show you what their arms look like, because I'll be holding something. Um, I'm, I'll might be holding something. But um, I'll let you check that out for yourself. So here's the special abilities for a spider. Is um, a... Uh, you see, like, a character with a wall. It means us, um, you can climb up a wall. Now, um, unfortunately, you cannot actually, like, uh, you take fall damage. So, yeah. And also, you're a um, hostile mob. But one way you can do this is you by uh, scaling a wall, you can just kind of, like, do this. And then just slightly go down, which I really like. Okay, so our next character is a chicken, which I'm actually going to have to go into uh, gas mode to do to do uh, demonstrate the chicken. Okay, um... Ow! I, I I hate the gas noise so much. I always have. I'm sorry. I can't stand it. It's It really bugs me. Okay. Okay, so here's the thing about a chicken. Did I not get a chicken? Aw, oh, um... Only need one. Okay, we have seven. I want to get this uh, mod review done real quick. Okay. We morphed into a chicken. Now, if we go to our abilities um, for chicken, we see that there's a guy holding a parachute. Now, obviously, I think you guys can figure out that that means uh, a chicken can actually um, soar down. He's not going to take fall damage. There's no way. And it's kind of like flying, but it's... It's more of a soaring down. Now, this is a Covenant Witch, I just realized. Hello? Okay. But, I mean, I actually like the chicken. It just looks kind of funny how you walk. You And he waddled away. Waddle, waddle. Is that how the song goes? Uh, I don't know. Okay. So, let's get started with our last character. Uh, with our last character. One of our last characters. Okay. Uh, where are we? Where are we? Um... Well, I'm gonna let's do bat bird for a bat bird bat first. No, no. Okay, now as a bat, I like bat a ton because um, a bat can fly. Now, unlike the gas, a bat. You know what's good about a bat is this right here, right here, ready, 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 ready. Ow, ow, that hurt, dude. Stop it. Don't don't be like that. A bat can fit in little areas like this. A ghast would absolutely die, okay? Absolutely. Stop it, dude! Now, um, I do want to mention that if you're in little areas like this, and you get into something bigger, like a two-block character, um, you will start suffocating, okay? I just wanted to let you guys know that. Um, I'm going to make a little more test here. Mm, okay. Okay. Now, our next character is, um, a squid. I just want to say this real quick. I, I, it's, um, I've actually tried recording this five times. Um, if I mentioned in, I mentioned in my other video that, um, like, Adobe wouldn't work. So, I've recorded this many times, and I'm just wanting to get through this, you know what I mean? But at the same time, be really informative. 
So as you already can see, I have little air bubbles. As a squid, you can't you can't be above um you can't be above water for like you know air bubble time. Because as you can see here, uh, squids have um are able to be in water. Now what I think is cool is this: you can basically go super. F you can go really uh, fast in water. Now the only reason I can't go fast here is because there's a current in this water. Um, now, on a regular basis, there wouldn't be, but in this case, I just made this little pool of water really quick. But you can go super fast in water. Now, I want to, um, note something real quick that, uh, let's go back to Steve. Um, I want to note that the Iron Golem, uh, can be in water as well, um, and not drowned, and also be above ground. So, just want to let you know that. Um, and something I forgot to mention about the bat is that, Okay, ready? I'm just gonna do this real quick. Yeah. Come on. About this height, you would die. I'm not touching anything. And I am in survival, so basically, bats do not take fall damage, which is awesome. Um. Yeah. I'll touch my micro right there. Sorry. Okay, our next character is a zombie, which I want to be, uh, in the village for. Not because zombies can, um,. You know, not the zombies, you know, can beat up villagers, but because of this reason. Um, if I do a zombie... Ow! Ow! Quit it! If I go to zombie right now, you'll see that it has hostile mob and a zombie on fire. Oh god, no, no, I don't want to die, don't kill me, don't kill me. Okay. Oh wow, that was ah, uh, thick. But zombies and skeletons do burn in the daylight, which is really whoa! Wow, look at that. I gotta go look at that. But which is real? It, it's not really fun, and it kind of sucks to be in. I'll be honest. Don't. Oh. Come on. No. Okay. But look at this little uh, slime with this little um, Skyrim mask. <laughs> you cute looking. Okay. But just, I just want to let you know that if you ever kill a zombie or skeleton in the morning and you haven't morphed into them before, you might want to be careful with that, okay? Oh, and um, like I said, most, some, most, um, some uh, vanilla creatures do not have ability like a cow has no ability at all. It's just... It's a cow. Yeah. Okay. So, our last thing I want to show is uh, slime. Now, you're probably thinking, what is good about a slime? Now, I'll show you what's good about slime. Um, slimes are hostile mobs. Now, the reason I want to do a slime is for this reason. Um, whoa! If you notice, there are three different versions of slimes. There are, you know, the big slime, baby slime, and medium slime. Now, uh, you're probably thinking, how do I access all of these little slimes? Well, if right by your uh, shift and then um, left uh, curly bracket, there's a right curly bracket. And you can uh, scroll between the slimes. Now, let me go kill a baby slime real quick. Boom. Um, and if you go to your inventory and select of the thing you can do a uh, shift right curly bracket and you can select between the different variations now the reason I say this is because like villagers there are different variations of villagers and the same for sheep so you, you just want to be able to know how which um, thing you want because maybe you don't want that type of villager you want uh, this really weird looking um, dark demonic demon possessed guy right over here now where is Dude, you, did you eat them? <laughs> wow. Now speaking of hostile mobs, you can be morphed. You can be morphed into a hostile mob in peaceful. So just want to let you know that. I'll prove that to you. See? Okay. Now one other thing I want to uh, show you. I was gonna say prove. Uh, one other thing I want to show you is this little circle here. Now, this is your favorite circle. This means you have certain, um, let's say you have a certain thing in here that you like. Um, 
those you can select some to be in your favorites now how you get to your uh, favorites is locate your one key and then one to the left is this sign right oh one second right he uh, here I don't remember what its name is I think it's called rise the rise or something no the t tide um no this is t uh that's Tide, I believe, and the other one, I forget what its name is. I could look it up real quick. Um, yeah, I'll just do that real quick. Uh, this is a grave uh, right here. That's grave. And the other one is... Oops. Didn't press shift. Tide. Oh, no, not Tide. Uh, Tidal. Tidal. Don't. It's... You, you know what I mean. Um, but basically, all you have to do is press that, and it'll come up. No shift or anything. Um, oops, time set zero. Okay, so now you're probably wondering, how do I make certain mobs my favorite? Okay, well, you go into your inventory, and say you want to have your uh, bat as your favorite. You press you press uh, the grave sign. Uh and then maybe you're like, nah, I don't want bat. So you press it again, and it'll it's basically, it'll toggle uh, favorite. Now, um, also, I like to have um, in my lineup bat, squid, and then one of my favorite mobs. So in this case, uh, uh, let's just say, well, actually, one thing I forgot to do was, I forgot to do um, one other guy I want to do something uh, with. Uh, uh, Enderman. Now the reason I want to do an Enderman in particular, out of um, because of none other ones, is because of this reason. Uh, dang it! Yeah, forgot. Um, is because. Um, sorry, I had to focus on getting that guy dead. If you look at an Enderman's abilities, uh, you'll see Hostile Mob and a Water Droplet and an X, meaning Endermen hate water. If you get in water as an Enderman, um, you will start getting hurt. Yeah. And that's obvious. Now, all, the unfortunate thing is Endermans cannot teleport. You cannot teleport as an Enderman, which I think sucks. I would have loved this mod way better if it if it allowed you to teleport around, but I guess that would have been kind of OP, right? Okay, so going back to the whole favorite things, um, um, I like Enderman as one of my favorites. So, um, you can hold up to like, I think, one, I think this is the biggest amount you can hold, um, because if I try doing, uh, one more, I don't think it'll... Actually, I guess you can hold, um, more than you want, um, because I'm not exactly sure what the, uh, what the top thing that you can have is, the top amount of number, but I'm pretty sure it's somewhere around 10, or probably 7-ish. Um, I will link a info page about this mod, basically a mod, um, an info page, and a download in, uh, dudes, where do you guys go? I mean, in the description? Ah, I thought I killed someone in there. Dude. Oh no! Um, and I'll load. Um, the download and the info sh page I think are together, so it'll be one link. It will be one link. And you guys, you are a creepy monkey. So yeah, thank you for watching. Um, I hope you've enjoyed. If you have any um questions, please put them in the comments. Um, if you want me to do any mods from B Team, put them in the comments as well. Thanks for watching and stay happy. Bye guys.